Sega. Welcome to Sanzaru Games. With Sonic Boom, we have this unique opportunity to work with Izuka-san and Sonic Team and to collaborate with them on the development of the characters. And so we're able to expand on that for our Sonic Boom and just you know evolve the characters a bit more for this new franchise that we're trying to build up. We're not taking it very lightly that we are one of the few Western developers that is able to get our hands on the Sonic franchise. And so I'm really looking forward to the whole gaming world to get a chance to see the Western take on what Sonic is. It was a great opportunity to get a chance to work uh, with Sonic. We definitely pulled from the past because we wanted Sonic to look like Sonic and feel like Sonic and move like Sonic, but then we also wanted to kind of adapt to this new world. It has the things that resonate and make Sonic, and that's something we spend a lot of time on. You know, we look at the old games, we really pick them apart, and we make sure that those elements are, are in the new game as well. But with the new gameplay styles, we have four playable characters, each with their own unique moves. You could switch between them at any time, which is totally new to, to a Sonic game. We want to add new dimensions that would make it fun. Um, we've introduced the new villain, Lyric, um, which is shared with the Wii U version of the game. Now that in and of itself is giving us the stepping stones to build on something bigger and brighter for the future for a Sonic franchise. On top of that, we want to encourage exploration, and so by switching to a different character, you might be able to explore a new pocket of gameplay that otherwise you know, wouldn't be reached. One of the cool gameplay elements introduced in the game that's my personal favorite is the inner beam. And uh, I really like swinging from side to side like Tarzan. Uh, there's nothing seen before like that in Sonic titles. It is this really cool electric thing that comes from everybody's wrists and we use it to grapple onto this tether point and swing across giant chasms and enemies are shielded with this inner beam technology and so you have the power to use your inner beam to rip off their shields before you can tackle them and, and take them on. With four playable characters, the player has tons of choices for how they want to explore the adventure levels. With Sonic's air dash, he can dash through dash blocks, he could reach um, higher grounds that Knuckles might not be able to get to. But at the same time, Knuckles offers his unique burrowing ability, and so he might be able to burrow through the walls and come up on the other side of the wall where otherwise a door or entryway might not be accessible. Tails has this ability to hover, and so we created these giant fans that only he can jump into and then get boosted out into the air. So he's the one that's able to reach the highest heights of all the levels using these fans. And for sticks, it's a boomerang. The cool thing with the boomerang is you get to control it. You can control it anywhere. You can get secret collectibles with it. You can unlock little puzzles. And um, it's really a fun mechanic uh, you know, for the whole game and, and definitely brings out Sticks' personality. Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal has a new playable character, Sticks, which is exclusive to the 3DS. And so this is really exciting for us because we have a lot of freedom to develop this character and make her fun and unique to just the 3DS experience. We knew that Styx needed to be a playable character because she has a boomerang and she's a female and I think having strong female leads in games are also very important. We do have a connectivity between the 3DS and the Wii U. Depending on your progress in the 3DS version, that will unlock secrets and allow you to play additional content on the Wii U side. If you're a Sonic fan, you're not only going to get one game to pick from, you have two totally different games. If you want a big roaming 3D adventure game, you know, you have the Wii U version, which is awesome. And then on the 3DS version, you know, we have a lot more uh, 2D, 2.5D uh, classic gameplay with the four characters that you can switch between. Uh, and you have sticks, you know, so I, I would say it's, it's great to be a Sonic fan you know, when these games come out, because you have two totally different games to pick from. All right, thanks for coming. And that is a wrap.